Hey, what's up? We're having a look at the new Samsung washer dryer combination washing machine 2021 model. It's an 8.5 kilo sick washing machine. And then on the other side, it's a 6 kg dryer. So if, ne if you've never used these, it's a bit tricky to know how they work. So I'll be getting into the features and how to properly use a washer dryer combo washing machine now looking at it you might think that it just looks the same as like the washing machines that we have for the samsung 2021 model i've already done a review of those ones but this is a washer dryer combo so just to run over some of the features that cross over and almost the same you've got the same power button and the start button and at the bottom here, I love how Samsung is including everybody. So for those that are vision impaired and can read Braille, they've really put these writing, these markings on the bottom here, which they can use to sort of be able to use these buttons and be able to wash with this washing machine as well. They can also control it using uh, Wi-Fi or voice activated systems when you connect it. I also do have another video on how to connect it to the internet and how to use it with your phone, use it with Amazon Alexa or with Google Home. So be sure to click that subscribe button or hit that like button as I do post a lot of videos on how to use these, the features, and I also post videos on the problems and the issues that come up with different washing machines. So it'll be handy to have me in your inbox because you never know what might go wrong on your washing machine in the future or when that time comes when you need to do that upgrade you can always just look through your subscriptions and i'll be right there and i will keep uploading more videos like these all right so looking at this you've got your control buttons right up the top this dial which you use to control the cycles we'll get more into that but just want to get you to be familiar with the simpleness of this washing machine. So it's got all in all, I'll say me probably about uh, eight, nine buttons in total and that's it. They're all touch sensitive, which is good. They just keep things simple. With the display, this is just a sticker here for now. I'll rip that off in a minute, but it will display for you the cycle that you've selected. Obviously here it's saying cotton and then the temperature that you're washing at, which is which you can control through here. That bit, this button, just below it. And then it shows you also where it says two here. It shows you how many rinse cycles it's gonna do during that wash. You can adjust that as well. Just be mindful that the more you play around with these features, the more time or less time to put on the finish time then 1400 this thing is pretty fast so if you put stuff in it you can be sure it'll come out dry or near dry so just be sure if you're washing heavy things you're not overloading this thing because 1400 this thing is about ready to take off so make sure the heavier the load the slower the spin speed if you keep that rule you'll be good and don't wash blankets in there then so you can also control that spin speed by pressing this spin button just directly below it and you see of course there's another button here for extras which can access the extra menus through then you've got a smart control button which is probably the most asked question for me on youtube a lot of people are trying to find out can you switch this thing off and still be able to control it through your phone or through voice I'm saying yes, because I've done that in a previous video. I will post a separate video actually showing you how to do that. And that's all possible if you use this button and also leave the smart control on. But let's turn it on and see how it works. But before we turn it on, hang on, let's have a look at inside as well. So you've got this add wash drawer, this add wash door that you can use. Say we all forget something that we wanna wash maybe a pair of socks there's that one lone socks left with and you've put everything in there and you go oh no 
Now you have to start the cycle again. No, actually with this one, pause it, access the air wash door, and then put your clothes in there or put the extra cloth in there. Now I will say that this is dependent on the water level that's in the washing machine already. Otherwise, it's doing it for your safety. If the water level is too high or it's too hot in there, it won't open. And it, work, it will tell you if you can't open it. And the, right here, we've got this nice finish to this door and this black, bluish finish. I really love that finish. Really, really premium feel to it. So that if you add it to any laundry, it'll just look nice. So, well done, Samsung. And then you've got this door. There's no physical door handle on this, which is really good. It's so there's nothing for you to break. So you just open it like that. And as you can see, that's the drum, your seal and everything like that. And right down there at the bottom, there would be your filter and everything else. Now, a lot of people usually ask on washer dryers, do they come with a filter? There is no physical filter on a washer dryer combo as you do in the dryers. But I will say that you need to check the filter, which is on the bottom right hand corner there every few months because this thing uses a lot of, um, it uses a lot of its pump when it's pumping out the water during the dry cycle. So you wanna make sure that you're checking the filter every few months. So you just access that through here, twist this thing until clockwise, comes out and you can just take out any lint, anything that's been left in there and lint from your drying, it'll come out there. But because of the condenser drying technology that is in this washing machine, you will not get lint as you do with most vented dryers. So be sure to know that there's no lint that's gonna come in there. So that's one advantage of having this washing machine. You never have to worry about having lint in your house or having a lot of steam in the house. So I'll just take a minute to explain to you condenser drying technology. This is what is working on this washer dryer combo. So this is pretty useful if you have, if you live in a flat or somewhere where you can't actually really vent the dryer. Venting means putting a pipe that'll take the hot air outside. That will be pretty useful. This will be pretty useful because it doesn't need to vent out the hot air because that hot air it is condensed down to water and is drained out. So rest assured you can do that. Another good feature of this one is you've got auto dispense soap. So it automatically dispenses the soap that's needed in the washing machine. So instead of putting soap every time you do a wash, it, you put it once and then it will automatically dispense how much it determines or how much you set it to, to, to dispense. So this is your soap drawer. You've got your all puff fabric softener in here. Then in the other section, you've got your detergent or your... So with auto dispense, it's all gonna be liquid. You cannot use powder in there. To put liquid or powder, you use this and you put it in there. And on the other one, put it in there. If you're not going to be using the auto dispense function, you can always use the manual one where you add it every time you do a wash. But we're trying to do less work here, so auto dispense is probably really good to use. So to close it, you just close it like that. Some, something you want to notice with these or you want to take note of is this thing won't open while you're washing and there's actually a little handle under here which you need to pull to open this. So just be mind of, mindful of that otherwise you're going to break this door handle. But it, I, th I think it's a pretty good design because then no one's going to come and open this and it won't just open up by itself. Really helps as well to keep the washing machine really quiet during a wash because that is one of the things that used to rattle on most washing machines when it's doing a wash. All right, so as we say, this is an 8.5 wash, but it's a six kg dry. So the way most 
washer dryers work is it's a washing machine first and then it's a dryer and that's really important to remember because if you load it up to the maximum say you load it up to 8.5 you load it up to the maximum and you try to do a wash you can wash properly but when it comes to drying these things need the volume right so we're just going to have a look at the drum here so when you open up the drum it's more about the volume in washing machines so the way you load it up the way to safely make this work for you is you load it up halfway up the door if you're putting in more than that it's overkill because all your clothes need to be in close contact with these three pedals in here and just picture it like when you're doing a hand wash you don't take all your clothes and you put them in the big bunch and you try to wash them like that you take bits and pieces at a time so you just load it up halfway and then it'll be fine and if you have a look they've actually put a sign here to say the maximum level for drying actually they're more generous than I am but halfway up the door like that that's your maximum wash and maximum dry level if you put it higher than that that's when you get people saying oh washer dryer combos don't work that much oh, I hate uh, waste of money it doesn't work if you load it up properly if it's got enough space for the heat to move around enough space for it to wash it will make a huge difference to how this thing works it works properly for you and you'll get bang for your buck so it will use it won't use as much washing powder and you, you won't use as much fabric softener and it will dry much quicker and much more efficiently so make sure when you load up these you load it up halfway up the door all right i know you're all itching to see how this thing works how to use it how to use the menus we're gonna get into that now i just take off the sticker and we'll turn it on so when i walk you through the wash cycles and how to select the cycles on these washes the first thing we're going to start with we're going to start with the power button so power on these are just touch sensitive. I'm just going to skip some of these um, welcome messages because it's just still new. So you need to get out of that menu and then get into the main menu. So when you turn it on, you've got that cottons cycle to start with. This is the dial that you're going to use to select most of your cycles with. And as you rotate it clockwise or anti-clockwise, it's going to select different wash cycles. So the first one we have is a cotton cycle and it's got showing you there that it's AI. Now I know a lot of a talk has been done about these with AI. AI on this is the washing machine learns every time you do a wash, it's gonna learn what you love doing with the washing machine and how often you wash and how much washing powder or liquid it puts into it and then over time you won't even need to press start or select a cycle you can just put it in and then it knows what you want to do that's a whole other video that we probably should do in a couple of months to see how that function is going but from what I can see it's pretty good so you can see you've got a cotton cycle there which is going to go for about an hour and four minutes and then right next to that, it shows you the temperature of that specific cycle. So you got a 40 degree wash and you've got two rinse cycles and it's going to be spinning at 1400 RPM. Now you can change all those settings if you want. Just be mindful that the more you play around with those settings, the more time it's going to add on or the less time it's going to put on the wash. So. Here, if I'm gonna go, all right, I wanna do a cotton's wash and you're gonna do a 60 degree wash. So it's gone from an hour, four minutes to an hour, 11 minutes. And then the same thing goes for the rinse cycle. It's gone up to about an hour and 20 minutes. And then same thing goes for spin speed. So that's basically how you do it. Now I've, I've gone into more of that in my other video. You can check that out. It's just pretty similar across all of them. But just to give you a quick one, 
through it because you can look and then see uh, now it's going is a lot but there's a lot of wash cycles here that you can use you can use ai wash which is what i was saying before it knows what you usually do and that will be set there and then you just put an ai wash so you have a quick 15 minute wash which you can do and it's a cold wash spinning at three uh 800 rpm doing three rinse cycles so all this you can play around with you can see all the buttons you can use are illuminated so you can always do that and you can see you can browse and see additional functions you can uh, set the dry level to auto or you can set it yourself usually the auto setting is better but i'll move more into all that stuff it's just a bit too much so let's see our wash cycles as we cycle through them you can see that they're just different variations to suit all the clothes that you have so your fabrics will be different so they'll need different wash temperatures and spin speed some of them are delicate so they'll need low, lower temperatures to wash with and slower spin speeds and some of them like towels need like a higher spin speed so all these are just set there for you to and you can see there's a progress bar up at the, at the top it just shows you how many more that line with the little dots it just shows you how many more cycles are there for you how many more options so it's sort of like a menu bar or scroll bar on your computer or on your phone that you can see how much is still down there so as you're cy cycling through you can see all the cycles now the very 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 important bit that i know a lot of you are itching to know how do you control the wash and dry cycle so what you can do, you've got two options and we'll start with option one. So option one, you can make it wash and then dry straight away, which is you select the cycle for whatever fabric you have and make it dry after it's done. So to do that, you select, you can go all right, cottons. And then if you press this extra ones, this zero button here, that's the one that adds on the dry function so it'll wash and then dry straight away after it's done the washing and obviously you can see the time has changed to five hours and 59 minutes from one hour four minutes do not be alarmed when you see that that's just an estimate so usually what happens with condenser dryers is they start maybe estimating it's going to be five hours or four hours at the start of the dry cycle then it just as it goes, as it progresses along the dry, then it sees, oh, these clothes are almost dry. I only need another hour or another 30 minutes, and then you'll see it come down drastically. So don't be too alarmed when you see that. It will sort itself out. As long as you put the right amount halfway up the door, then it will take less time than that. That's my experience with washer dryer washing machines. So don't let that put you off because it will self adjust during a dry cycle and as you move along you can always add so you can see every wash cycle that you have if you tap the o you can add a dry cycle to it and as you're going you can just add 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 you can add dry cycles to all of them and they're all different times so the syntax one will be in a four hour or something like, oh that's too much but i'll show you just for uh illustration purposes the quick 15 minute one if I add dry, you're gonna have a look there. That one is gonna take an hour to wash and dry. So it just really depends what you're washing and the cycle that you've selected. So make sure you um, select the right cycle and don't be too alarmed with the time that you see on there that it says it will take. And there's another option that you have so if you scroll all the way clockwise until the very very almost you're at the end of these cycles you can see it says wash and dry and you can select that option and press start so what this does it's just going to automatically detect whatever's in there whatever weight is in there how much soap it needs and how much time it's going to take to do that cycle so you don't need to worry about much just let it do its thing that's about it which you want to do wash and then dry straight away but the other second option is say if you've been out maybe it's been raining and your clothes are not, are not they're not dirty but they're just wet and you want to do just only a dry cycle so you can just do a dry cycle uh, on its own 
So to do the dry cycle on its own, you can just uh, select whatever fabric it is, press the O button and tap O to do dry only. So you can choose what you wanna do, dry only or wash only. So as you can see there, it's set to only dry. And you can select other cycles just so you add the dry and then you just tap to dry only. So a really good way to illustrate what it's actually doing is you can see this little like coat hanger. The, if it's a little dish, like a wash dish on there, the diagram or the picture, it means it's doing wash and dry. And if it's just a coat hanger, that means it's just gonna dry only. So that's a really good indicator as to what it's going to be doing so that you're not second guessing thinking is it washing or is it drying my thoughts on this is that all these controls i'm showing you are much 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 better when you put on like alexa to do the voice control where you can say hey alexa start the wash and dry cycle and then it will do that or if you're just doing it from your phone using the smart things app which i found really really handy smart things makes it because all these options all that i'm doing here it's much easier to do on your phone. So I highly recommend that you try and do it on your phone and save yourself scrolling through all these buttons. And when it's done, it will have a period where it's gonna uh, cool down. And that's just to protect you from hurting yourself by opening the door and you know, all this steam coming out or uh, your kids just come and touch that hot it won't be that hot, but just to protect you. So um, every five minutes as well, it's gonna turn like one um, cycle, just one turn to prevent the clothes from just sitting in there and creasing. So when that happens, just press play and then it will unlock the door for you. Another thing I wanna really point out, a lot of people think that these use a lot of electricity and they'll be worried about the electricity bill because if you look down there, you can see, oh my gosh, two and a half star because the energy rating stick is the first one from your left. That's your water rating. Your energy rating during a wash, that's a four and a half star. And then for the dryer, it's two and a half star. Now that's normally the rating for most washer dryer combos. It's unavoidable because this thing is a dryer first and then is a washer first and then it's a dryer. If you want, anything higher than three and a half stars, you need to get yourself a heat pump dryer. And those are expensive. They start about $1,600, $1,800. So if you're tired for space, get yourself a washer dryer like this, which will help you. But I'll show you a tip which will help you to save on energy bills because you can ask your energy provider what time is off peak and then you can set it to wash and dry during that time. That way you'll save money. All right, the easiest way to do the, to save yourself money by doing a delay start or delay end. So I'm gonna go right ahead and select a quick 15 minute wash, but I also wanna dry it as well. So I've got the washing basin and the little hanger there. So that means I know it's gonna wash and dry. So in order to, I can make it wash during the off-peak time. So say now is three o'clock in the afternoon and I know my off-peak time starts at 10 p.m. at night. So I can gauge it and set it to start washing and drying at, seven, uh, at 10 o'clock in seven hours. To access that, this button with additional functions that I press and then you just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, delay end. So you set it on. So start washing after one hour, two hours, three hours, four hours, five, six, seven, seven hours. So that just as you're walking in or just as the off peak time starts, it's start washing and you're doing off peak. Another way you can use this delay end is if you're going to sleep late or you don't want to wait for the clothes to finish washing, you can set it to start washing just before you wake up and then by the time you finish having your breakfast and all that clothes are done and they're ready to put on or put in the in the drop in the wardrobe or also you can set it to start washing just before you come home so that just as you're walking into the door 
the washing is done. How good is that? Instead of all your clothes just sitting in there and creasing, you can set it to start washing closer to the time that you're coming home. You can do all this as well using the SmartThings app. So all in all, I think the SmartThings app is something that you really, really need to get yourself familiarized with. I've got a video on how to connect this to that SmartThings app because this makes all this easier and really, really handy within the app. We all have phones in our pockets, so why not use them to control this? All you need to do is put your clothes in and you've got automatic dispense in here, so you don't need to worry about adding the washing powder or washing liquid. So I'm just gonna cancel uh, this and I've canceled that, yep. So there'll be additional functions that you can access through this menu. So this button, if you press hold, keep, if you keep holding it, it's gonna show you functions. So you can set the water hardness, softener. So I've covered all this in another video, which I don't think I should keep covering in this one. But if you have any questions, leave me a comment in the comment section below and I'll be for sure to point you to that right answer, that right question. Um, yeah, that's about it. It's pretty simple, pretty great washing machine, 8.5 kg wash and 6, point and 6 kg dry. That's pretty good. If you're tied for space, this will fit into most spaces and will do the job just as good as a separate washer and a separate dryer. That's if you're tied for space. Really good to get yourself in getting one of these. I hope that's been helpful. If you have any more questions or need something clarified a bit more, please let me know in the comment section and I will get back to you. As always, click that subscribe button or that like button because it goes a long way to help out this channel for other people to discover this content and for us to keep getting these new washing machines so that we can review them, show you how to use them and get you familiar with them so that you can make the right purchasing decisions. So, out of a 10 score, I'd probably give this a nine out of 10. It's pretty good. I like the design. I like the simpleness of it. If you can fit anywhere and Samsung really know how to do, especially the software part, when you get to that, you'll see that they've done a lot of work into making it easy for you to control all this using your phone. Real well, well, well done. Hey, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for tuning in. Cheers.